Now, this is a question regarding the movement for the protection of peatlands. So, the question is like this. Which of the following is the historic agreement signed to protect the world's largest tropical peatland? You know, the world's largest tropical peatland, it is located in the Congo Basin. Given the options as Brazzaville Declaration, Basel Convention, Minamata Convention, Paris Agreement. Now, coming to the main point regarding the agreement for the protection of this largest tropical peatland. So, the agreement for the protection of the world's largest peatland is Brazzaville Declaration. So, the Brazzaville Declaration aims to implement coordination and cooperation between different government sectors to protect the benefits provided by peatland ecosystems. This agreement is the beginning of a deep collaboration between Indonesia covered by vast expense of peatlands and the Congo Basin. So, in an unprecedented move to protect the Kavete central region in the Congo Basin and that is the world's largest tropical peatland and which are about a size of England. From the unregulated land use and prevent this and prevent its drainage and degradation, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Republic of Congo and Indonesia jointly signed the Brazzaville Declaration that promotes the better management and conservation of this globally important carbon store. So, the researchers mapped the Kavito central peatlands in the central Congo basin and found it cover almost 1,45,500 square kilometer. And they found that these swamps could lock in a, around 30 billion ton of carbon that was previously not known to exist. And that will make the region one of the most carbon rich ecosystems on earth. And another importance of this Kavete central peatland of Congo Basin is around the equivalent of 3 years of global greenhouse gas emissions are stored in this Congo Basin. And if this peatland is degraded or drained, that will release that much amount of carbon dioxide. So, that is why this declaration was adopted. Basavile declaration was adopted for the protection of the world's largest peatland ecosystem. Now, regarding the peatlands, the peatlands are examples of wetlands. Okay. So, the peatlands are wetlands that contain a mixture of decomposed organic material partially submerged in a layer of water and they are lacking oxygen. And these peatlands, they are home to a variety of species. So, this peatland is also having high diversity, but their high content of this carbon, that also make them uniquely vulnerable to incineration if they are drained. So, this all peatlands only cover 3% of the land surface, but they contain twice as much carbon as the entire biomass of the world's forest. So, that much carbon is stored in the peatlands. That's why we said that wetlands, especially the peatlands are the largest carbon sinks on land. So, the main peatland management principle is to keep the peatland wet. When the peatlands are dry, then it will start to release the greenhouse gases. Okay, so that's why the main peatland management principle is to keep the peatlands wet in condition. So, these are the main points regarding this question. Now, coming to the question again. Which of the following is the history agreement signed to protect the world's largest tropical peatland? And that is Brazzaville Declaration. Now, what is this Basel Convention? It's a convention on the control of transboundary movement of hazardous waste. Right, that was Basel Convention. So, Basel Convention is a convention on the transboundary movement of hazardous waste and their storage. Regarding Minamata Convention, Minamata Convention is a convention on the mercury. So, Minamata Convention is a convention dealing with the human health and environment or to protect the human health and to protect the environment from the adverse effect of the releasing of uh, mercury and its compounds. Okay. Then Paris Agreement, we know that it is an agreement dealing with the climate change. So, here the answer is Brazzaville Declaration.